Hello everyone, this is Quinn from Power Admin. Today we're going to talk about monitoring Internet Information Services, better known as IIS. We have a how-to page on our website that you can go to and view all of this information uh, as well. If you go out to the website and then to the help documents under how to you'll find the monitor IIS link there. So the documentation um, talks about using three different monitors. The first one is the services monitor. As you can see we have three services listed there. Uh, so we need to set up a monitor to monitor for those specific services and one of those services does produce event errors or alerts that can happen and we have a list of six of those there and so we would also need to use an event log monitor to monitor for those so that you can easily get information on errors or warnings that are happening within your within your system the last monitor that we talk about here is the performance monitor uh, we have listed here several counters that we recommend that you monitor with the default thresholds. So if you set this up and then set up alerts to be sent based on your specific needs, uh, then with these three monitors you'll have IIS monitored fairly well. So let's take a look at our, our example to use today. I have a server here and I've already added the event log monitor um, and let's go ahead and scroll down to the specific um, there we go right here I'll bring that up just a little bit for you as you can see I'm monitoring for any error or criticals uh, alerts that happen um, and then I've added um, event ID filtering so you can see I've added the six event IDs down here under monitor for these event IDs and so what will happen is if those are thrown as an event then server monitor will pick that up and take it and give you alerts on it then I've set up a performance counter and as you can see I've added most of those uh, counters that were listed on our web page here uh, and then you can set thresholds based on what you need for your performance uh, the default thresholds are suggestion but of course it also uh, depends on the resources that your server has and whether the server is production or test or or how you would like to be uh, alerted on those so let's go ahead and add the services monitor here so let's click on the server and say add new monitor we're going to scroll down to the services monitor and we're going to select that and here um, here we see the complete monitor the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name of this so we go to advanced options click on details and I'm going to change this to IIS services monitor so that we can tell this apart from uh, the other regular monitors that we have. So let's uncheck having this monitor uh, watch for all automatic start services making sure that those are running because we're only going to monitor for specific um, services that are running. Um, and, the, and let's go back to our web page there and we'll look at those same three. So we have the application host helper Windows Process Activation Service and the World Wide Web Publishing Service is what we want to monitor for. Let's find those. There's the first one. Let's go ahead and add that to be monitored. Let's scroll down to the World Wide Publishing and we'll add that. And then let's select the Windows Process Activation Service. So now we have the three services that we're uh, wanting to monitor for now what we need to do is add the actions that we want we want to do immediately so I'm going to add uh, an email notification to that and then we're going to set up um, some escalation here and we're going to set that to 60 minutes we're going to add that email there and then also for resolve actions we're going to add an email notification there so let's say okay then let's check the scheduling 
You can see that it's running for every 10 minutes, so that will be good. We'll take the default on that. And then all you need to do is click OK, and the monitor will be added to the server. As you can see, it's already here. OK, and we've selected it here, and you can see that our three services are listed here. We're going to be monitoring for just those three. We're not going to monitor for anything else on here. So that's how you can set up some basic monitoring for your IIS services. Another option you might consider as well is to use the automatic config and then uh, add a dynamic server list monitor that uh, adds in some default monitors, those same three default monitors, to any servers that you have that have IIS running on them. That's another video and you can look at that later. Thanks and have a great day.